My beloved I am your strength and your shield, and I'm constantly at work, often in marvelous ways to revive you and protect you the more you trust in me with all your heart the more your heart can dance with joy. I want you to have unwavering trust in me resting in my sovereign control over the entire universe. When life seems to spiral out of control cling to me knowing that I am in charge, I orchestrate every moment of your life for your good both in this world and the one to come in the midst of adversity your greatest test is to continue trusting that I am both sovereign and good you may not always comprehend my ways for they are as high above yours as the heavens are above the earth when you respond to troubles with a heart full of gratitude believing that I can bring good even from the most challenging situation it brings me great joy this act of faith not only strengthens you but also glorifies me I rejoice when my beloved children offer up songs of thanksgiving in the midst of their struggles. Stay vigilant and persistent in your prayers. With the help of my spirit, you can learn to be increasingly aware of my presence. This isn't an easy task as the world is designed to divert your attention away from me with its noise and distractions. But remember, I'm always close by, as near as a whispered prayer. People in love yearn for alone time to focus entirely on each other. I am the lover of your soul, and I long for you to spend time alone with me when you shy out distractions and fix your gaze on me. Your soul awakens to the joy of my presence, which deepens your love for me and keeps you spiritually alert. Prayer becomes effortless when you are aware of my radiant presence. Remember, your prayers not only bless you, but also offer a way for you to serve me. Rejoice that through prayer you can partner with me in establishing my kingdom on earth. Learn to lean on me more and more. I fully understand the extent of your weaknesses, and it's in those very places where my mighty presence meets you that your weakness and my strength fit together perfectly, creating a beautiful synergy designed long before your birth. My power is most effective in your moments of weakness. This truth may seem counterintuitive and mysterious, but it is absolutely real. When you feel inadequate or overwhelmed, lean on me. Remind yourself that together you and I are more than sufficient. Picture yourself holding my hand, for I am the one who takes hold of your right hand and assures you, do not fear, I will help you. I want you to rely on me even when you feel capable of handling things independently. This requires an awareness of both my presence and your dependence on me. My wisdom is limitless, so let me guide your thoughts as you make plans and decisions. Leaning on me fosters a warm intimacy between us, the intimacy of the one who will never leave you or forsake you guard against attaching your self-worth to your performance. When you're dissatisfied with something you've said or done, talk to me about it. Ask for my guidance in distinguishing what is genuinely sinful from what is not. Confess any sins you're aware of and receive my forgiveness with gratitude. Live in the freedom of knowing you are my beloved child, forever declared not guilty. There is no condemnation for those who belong to me. You are precious in my sight, so refuse to condemn yourself. Your imperfections serve as a reminder of your humanity and humble you, making it easier for you to identify with other flawed individuals. Embrace the humility, for it's a blessing that keeps pride at bay. Thank me for circumstances that diminish your pride and draw you closer to me. Accept my priceless, unfailing love in all its fullness. I desire you to be increasingly preoccupied with me. The default tendency of most people is self-absorption, and even my followers can fall into this trap, hindering their growth in grace when a man and woman are deeply in love they can't help but be preoccupied with each other. Likewise, your journey to preoccupation with me begins with loving me wholeheartedly with all your heart, soul, and mind. This is the greatest commandment, and it's a noble goal. You may not achieve it perfectly in this life, but the more you understand and delight in the incredible unfailing love I have for you, the more passionately you can respond to me. Ask my spirit to assist you on this beautiful quest. This adventure has two facets, deepening your reception of my love in its depth, breadth, and constancy, and responding by loving me more and more in doing so you break free from the chains of self-absorption and become increasingly preoccupied with me. I find immense joy in setting you free to train your mind to dwell on thoughts of me. Many Christians are defeated because they focus too much on less important matters. The news, 
the weather, the economy, loved ones' problems, their own problems, and so on. While it's true that you will encounter trouble in this world, don't. Let it consume your attention. Remind yourself that I am with you and that I have overcome the world. I am closer to you than the very air you breathe, and yet I am the infinite God King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I am also your loving Savior and faithful friend. One of the most profound ways to heighten your awareness of my greatness is through worship. Worship connects you with the Godhead, Father, Son, and Spirit in a glorious way. True worship expands my kingdom of light, is pushing back the darkness. A beautiful way to praise me is to read or sing the Psalms. Filling your mind with biblical truth will help you resist discouragement when you make an effort to meditate on who I am, your Savior and friend who is also Almighty. God, ask me for wisdom, beloved. I know you need it desperately. King Solomon asked for a discerning heart and received wisdom in abundance. This precious gift is vital for you, especially when you face important decisions and plans. So come to me for the wisdom you require and trust me to provide it generously. Wisdom includes recognizing your need for my help in everything you do. When your thoughts become sluggish, it's easy to forget about me and plunge into your tasks and activities independently, but inevitably you'll encounter obstacles. Then you'll face a critical choice either to press on relentlessly on your own or to pause and seek my insight, understanding, and guidance. The closer you live to me, the more readily and frequently you will seek my assistance. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Though I am your friend, always remember who I am in all my power and glory. This godly fear, reverential awe, and worshipful admiration provide a strong foundation for wisdom. I want you to live without fear of bad news. The only way to achieve this is by having a steadfast heart, placing your trust firmly in me. There's an abundance of bad news in the world, but you need not be afraid of it. Instead, rely on me, believe in me, and find comfort in my sacrificial death on the cross and my glorious resurrection. I, your living Savior, am Almighty God. I am sovereign over global events, and I am still in control when circumstances around you or in the world appear to be spiraling out of control. Come to me and pour out your heart. Rather than worrying and stewing, invest your energy in prayer. Turn to me not only for comfort, but also for guidance. I will help you find your way forward, and remember that your prayers play a significant role in my governance of your world in ways far beyond your comprehension. Do not dread bad news or allow it to terrify you. Keep your heart steadfast and tranquil through unwavering trust in me. Do not let the fear of making mistakes paralyze you or fill you with anxiety in this life. You will make errors because you are human with limited knowledge and understanding. When facing significant decisions, strive to learn as much as you can about the matter. Seek my face and my guidance in your thoughts and plans. I will counsel you as you think things over in my presence when the time is right. Move forward and make your decision, even if the outcome remains uncertain. Pray for my will to be done and entrust the results to me. Fear is closely tied to the fear of punishment. If you've been unjustly punished or mistreated severely, it's natural to be afraid of making mistakes. In such situations, anxiety can cloud your judgment and even immobilize you. The solution is to remember that I am with you, and for you. You don't need to perform perfectly for me to love you continually. Absolutely nothing, not even your gravest mistakes, can separate you from my love. My judgments are beyond human understanding, and my ways are far beyond your comprehension. But despite this, trust me in every circumstance. Even when you can't understand my ways, my wisdom and knowledge surpass human capability for I am infinite and eternal. I have always existed from everlasting to everlasting. I am God, yet I am also the Word who became flesh dwelling among you. I identified fully with humanity taking on a human body and enduring a dreadful death to save those who believe in me.